today I am turning your drawings into Minecraft mobs. Then we will get professional Minecraft modders to rate them. The first drawing comes at us from McNoose, a crystal chameleon. Perfect for a simple first mob of the day. They will only get more and more complex as we go. Alright, so let's add a steep for scale as I want this guy to be tiny. Now we can start with making its head. I've never done a head shape like this before, but it came out looking pretty good in my opinion. But we're missing one important detail, the nasty eyes. Now that's a chameleon head. Then for the body, we do a similar shape we did for the head, but make it go upwards towards the middle and continue it going straight to get that hunchback look. And then we make it go back down, ending with the tail. Let's make the tail curl at the tip with a circular shape. Looking pretty good. Now for the legs. Let's start with some toes and make the limb out of simple cubes as we don't need anything too fancy here. Now we copy the legs to all sides and there we go. Last but not least, let's open up the mouth and make a little tongue. So now we got a chameleon, but the drawing is of a crystal chameleon. So let's make a few planes on the side with sharp tips, which we will paint as crystals later. A few different sizes, so there's some variation. All right, let's get to painting. Let's get all the flat colors on there and then do the first details like the eyes, the curled up tail and a basic pattern on the body. Then we can add some highlights and shadows. Looking sharp. Speaking of sharp, let's paint the crystals. With the crystals painted, we can make each crystal have two sides so that it looks three dimensional and then put them all in place on the chameleon. Looking good. Here we got the crystallion, a friendly little crystal chameleon that you can find by crystal formations. They come in many different colors, but if you can't find the color you're looking for, don't worry. You can dye them in any color you want. If you got a few spider eyes, you can also tame these little guys and they will hop on your shoulder. Once they're on your shoulder, they will help you take on small threats by eating them. Let's see what our modders think of it. If you guys will join me into this little area. Oh, look at that! What the? Wait, what? <gasps> oh my, wait a what? All right, so this is the Crystallion, a crystal chameleon. Oh, it's, <gasps> it squeaks! So if you follow me to the middle of this crystal formation, you should see a double chest. Oh, a chest. Hey, woohoo! <gasps> Oh my god, you're orange. It's mine. It's orange. It's orange. He's on my shoulder. They're on my shoulders. I feel like I'm kitted out for warfare. All right, so <laughs> what your task for right now is get rid of all the slimes without doing a single hit. Uh, so many I haven't slimes. got one. I haven't Ow. got one. You you haven't got a chameleon yet? That was, your, that was the one. whole task. Someone stole mine. Oh, right. I <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't like me. I'm just... Wait, what? I'm being damaged. Oh, there we go. Wait, I just saw it working. I know it works. It works. It works. It, it works. works. I mean, works. of course it works. What am I? <laughs> it works every time. What am I... <laughs> <laughs> this is not going well. <laughs> this is the first one. Feast, my children. Wait, wait, guys. That's no. I'm gonna die. No, crystallians only. Dude, my chameleon just picked up a sword. That was crazy. Okay, I get the hint. I get the hint. Moving on to the rating. This is a solid 84 out of 153. No, no, no. We're not doing it this time. We're not doing that this time. No, we're okay. doing... S oh. <laughs> Zero to ten. Oh, you got me. How, how do you get rid of them, by the way? That's that's a minus. I can't get I can't get him to jump off. Yeah. Why would you want to get them off, Kev? Kevin, what will you give the crystallion on a scale of I one mean, to, to ten? I mean, to they're 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 stupidly cute. I just love how they're not efficient at all in any way, shape, or form. They're just flowing around on the floor. I guess the functionality that I was looking for and hoping for, not for that I knew exactly what I'm gonna do, I haven't seen it. I am gonna give them a solid. 5.5 out of 10. 5.5 out of 10? Yeah, oh, got I it. think that's a fairly, fairly fair. Cookie? I, I really like them. I like the fact that you can die them. I like the design. I'm going to say 7. 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10. All right. Yeah. Solid. Solid. Daniel? Uh, cute equals 10. Oh, yeah. Cute equals 10. There we go. We got a 10. You're going. You're coming back next episode. You know what? I take back what I said about your skin. It's wonderful. Uh, I feel like I'm getting a replacement. Yes, you are. <laughs> All right. So there we have our score. Now let's move on to the next drawing. The next drawing comes at us from Pencil of Horror. We got the Wanderer, a horror creature armed with a, with a flute. Okay, sure, yeah, 
Uh, for the flute! Yeah! Arm for the flute! So let's start with the skull. So a cube that curves down to the front, where the skull will bevel inwards like this. Then we add a cube to the middle, and add some curvature to the sides as well. Now let's take this front piece and make it real thin so we can sculpt its eye holes. Something like that. Now we make the horns out of multiple elongated pieces, which we rotate around to get the right shape. Now let's drag the head up and start working on the body. Give him some extra detail on the stomach, and some pecs. And neck is always pretty handy. Andy. Looks alright so far. Now for the arms, let's make it resemble human muscle structure by making an elongated cube beveled at the end with a rotated cube. And then one more elongated cube and there we have the upper arm. Then we do the same thing for the forearm, but a bit smaller. And on the drawing, the guy has three very long claws. So let's try to replicate that with just a whole lot of cubes. Ooh, those are some big hands. And when we start rotating the fingers, you can see how creepy proportions can be when they are off. Now for the legs, we just copy the arms, add one more segment to the top, adjust the hand to become a foot, and rotate the leg in place. And boom! Legs. Now let's add a bit more detail to its torso and make the cloth around its waist. Then finally we can make the flute out of varying sizes of long rotated cubes held together by this part right here, which is a cube. It's all cubes. Now we paint! So let's get the flat colors on there. Make the cloth ripped, and the body even more ripped with some very basic details. Then we make similar details for the cloth, the flute, and the skull. And now we can open the texture file in Photoshop and add the noise and textures. And there we go! But we need some particle for when it's using the flute. So let's just paint some notes, and add them to a particle system to fit the flute playing. And there we go! Sweet, dude! Here we got the Wanderer, a spooky Wendigo creature that you can find roaming around at night in dark forests. The wanderer doesn't like the company of the living, so try not to get too close, as if he senses you, he will run towards you and strike you with his large claws. He also has his flute, which when played will summon minions to help him take on his foes. But we haven't made his minions yet, and this drawing by Blizzard would be perfect. These are souls that I think the Wanderer could be calling with his music. Oh, it's gonna be good. So this one should be rather simple. Let's just make an elongated cube, add some eyes and a mouth, paint it blue, and we're done. Wait. Wait. Well, let's add a bit more detail by making the texture animated at least. So we can make multiple copies of the texture in Photoshop, changing each copy a bit. Line them up vertically, and voila! The texture is now animated. Now it really does look like a soul. Now we just need some blue particles to come out behind it, and there we go! A very simple mob, but I really like it. It even blinks! Ooh, blink! What a cute little devious little soul. Here we got the souls. Once just children that were out in the forest a little too late at night. They were found by the wanderer. Now they serve him. When the wanderer plays his flute, the souls come from the ground to play with his victims. Let's invite the modders to come play. All right, so welcome um, to uh, this place. This place is um, interesting. You might notice this little chest in, uh, in the middle of this dark, beautiful forest. Yeah. Um, go, uh, go grab your stuff. Oh. Okay, everybody has their chameleon still. This is good. This is good. This is wonderful. Uh, what do I... I think I'm hey. pretty kitted out. So the next mob comes at us from a user called Pencil of Horror. Okay. And, uh, guess we'll meet him in a second. Hold on, I'm just trying to find my command block. A Pencil of good. Horror. Oh, look oh! at that! That's the most cuddly little thing I've ever seen. Why is it moving my way? Yes, please, don't. Oh, I danced right into it. Yeah, whoa, whoa. This is the Wanderer. It has a pan flute. Yeah, it's good. It's tough. I really like this thing. I Get him! I, I, I do kind of like this thing wailing at Daniel, so I'm just going to stay here and admire it for a moment. <laughs> the flute. There we go. Oh, he can play the flute! Wait, Dude, what? I swear I didn't know! I swear I did not know he could play the flute! <laughs> Why did you think he had it? He's playing the flute! Yay. Look, at these, look at these guys! Aww! They're cute. Oh, f they hurt. Oh, they hurt. They are the cutest little things. Look at them. They're snuggly snugglies. <laughs> Get them away they from me. They are the here. disbodied souls of innocent children coming to haunt you. That's dark. They're so snuggly snuggly though. Who came up with this? I have so much respect for you. Oh, there is there is just something so cute about these profound little creatures they're fun about here. Hello there. Oh, they're, they're giggling. Yeah, they like killing. Oh, <laughs> I'll join you, kids. I'll join you. Oh, I gotta get out. I gotta get oh, out. Oh, right. Yeah, <laughs> you should probably take the chance while he's distracted. To do what? Kill him. 
pet him? Whoa. No, I mean, there's so many cute little squigglies around. Kill them too. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I really just like them. Oh yeah, they did. Why does he always come after me? You know, maybe like... the uh, maybe the spirits should not tank an entire netherite sword hit. <laughs> they are tanks. I don't know. I mean, have you ever met a ghost, Daniel? You ever met one? You know how they work? Want to fill me in? You know, toddler ghosts. <laughs> they're really dangerous. <laughs> you know, they come around and they drool on you. <laughs> they climb your face. Just stick your fingers down your mouth. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, okay, 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 bro. Okay, okay. I thought that was going somewhere completely different. Oh, he's spawning more. All right. Now it's time to get him. Uh, yeah, yeah. There you go. You guys did it all on your own. All on your own. You did that all on your own. We got it. We got it. All right, Kevin. Give me the rating. Uh, the Vendigo? Three out of ten. Ghosts? Ten out of ten. I'm gonna need. I'm ten. Okay, cool. We'll take it. We'll, we're doing this separately. All right, Cookie. Um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna say six, six out of ten for the big guy. And yeah, I'm I'm a fan of those little little children, little lost children. I'll go with nine, nine out of ten. Nine. All right. Okay. This yeah. is we're going. Okay. This is turning out good. All right, Daniel. Give me the good numbers. Uh, give me the good numbers. I mean. I mean, it's pretty easy. I beat it with no armor on. Uh, I, I'm gonna have to say like a five. <laughs> Just too easy for for a guy like me. No! Wait! Yes! It's on our side now. You listen to me! No! Now! No! 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 Stop adapting! <laughs> He's learning, John. He's All right. Learning. Wait! 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 Is that five on both of them, or five on this one and ten on the other one? That's that must be the one, right? Just five Two for balls. the whole package, yeah. Five little packets. All right. Well, that's that's uh, that's that's a thing. Thank you. <laughs> Let's go jump back to the next drawing. The next drawing comes at us from Hatmaster. Oh my God! What is th what? No! 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 Stop it! Stop it! Bad! Bad Hatmaster! What is th what is that? Okay, so we got a moon spider. So let's first make the moon by making a basic shape, which we will copy, rotate, and resize as we go to make the curve. Then we can copy the top part and mirror to the bottom so we have a banana. I mean moon. I... No, I, I honestly don't know. Now let's copy some of the cubes and resize them to make the shape more detailed. After doing that a few times, we have this shape. It's a good banana right there. M moon banana... Now we can go in and sculpt his face, which we will do by resizing the cubes where his mouth goes, until we have this mouth-shaped hole in the model. This is already looking so cursed. Now let's add a little nose above the mouth, and then we can do the same thing we did for the mouth to make the eye holes. Now let's fill in the eyes with another cube and put it perfectly in place. Now we make the teeth out of individual cubes. Yep, nasty. And then a tongue. Uh, why not? Okay, that's the moon. Now let's make them legs, baby. So let's make a cube here, then a cube here, another cube here, and look, here goes a cube. And whoops, dropped a cube. Another cube goes here, and guess what? Here comes a cube. Cube, 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 cube. Can you see the pattern? Guess what comes next? Wrong! Plane. And that's the leg. Now pose it and copy it so we got eight of them. And that's the cursed moon boy. Now let's get some paint on there. So all the flat colors, some shading, especially around the face. Okay, that's nasty. And bada bing, bada boom, I don't wanna look at this guy anymore, and we're done! Get me the f out of here! Here we got the Glurm, a vicious spider-like being that resembles a moon, or a banana, who knows. If you come across the Glurm, you will have no choice but to face it in combat. And if you do, try to take care of it as quickly as possible before it starts laying its eggs. The eggs of the Glurm will give you poison if you get too close and eventually will hatch tiny little Glurms that slowly grow in size and power. So try to take care of the little ones before they grow to their full potential. Time for our modders to meet the Glurm. Welcome into the Glurm cave. The Glurm cave. That's the weirdest word I've ever heard somebody expel. What, what is a Glurm cave? It's a, it's a word. So. The next mob comes at us from a user called Hatmaster, and he made a lovely drawing of the Glurm. Of the Glurm? Oh! Look at that thing! Oh! The glurm. What the heck That's the Glurm! Why does he look- why is he the moon? Hey, why, why am I getting poisoned? <laughs> it's a moon, it's a banana, we haven't really figured oh, it why out wasn't yet. This? Why wasn't this? Why am I being damaged by poison? Oh, don't get close to his babies. These eggs. Squishy eggs. Do you just destroy these things, or oh, what do you do? Like, geez. they're really damaging. 
You can okay. do whatever you want with him. I can moisturize myself with him. Oh my god, there's a wait, he he's put this down a lot of his babies. <laughs> I don't oh, like the way okay, you're looking okay, at me. Oh, they're are, bursting, oh, they're bursting. Look at the little cute you, thing on the you guys ground. probably want to take cute? care of the big mama soon because he's oh. just going to keep on spawning them. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm on the big mama. Oh, they're so cute little kinematicers. Hello. Are these things growing, by the way? Yes, they, they are. Yeah, <laughs> they, oh. they slowly oh. grow. Oh, no. Do they get health as well, do they? Yes, they slowly, they, they can get almost up to uh, the big mama. They're killable, though. They're killable. I'll get on the mom duty. I'm going to kill the mom. You guys kill the little one. Here, I'll lead him out, guys. I'll be I'll be Private <laughs> yes. Ryan, saving Private Ryan. <laughs> You're just taking him in there. All right. <laughs> oh, you know, that tunnel ends. That tunnel ends abruptly. You're end. not going to like that. <laughs> Goodbye, my friend. <laughs> oh, you sacrificed yourself. No! <laughs> Oh, that was so sad. Wow, he went out a hero, though. Yes! I got the mom. The mom's down. You All got right. the mom! All right, the okay, so down. now it's just the babies. Why are they not dying? Why are they so much health for no reason? They still not. Oh, I'm killing one. I'm killing oh, one. Oh, what the okay. hell? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I gave you guys some strength. All right, no, so no. there there we have the Glurm. <laughs> wow. Good. Kevin, shoot me your rating. Uh, all in all, 7.4. 7.4, all right, yeah, okay. Yeah, because poison well, eggs, I fucking hate poison eggs. <laughs> I think they're wonderful. Yeah. All right, Cookie, rating. Yeah, the glow's cool. Well, the glow's cool. I'm going to go with uh, seven. Daniel, seven. Daniel, <laughs> stop. <laughs> well, he's just... Seven. Uh, I died. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. I just randomly died. Randomly, yeah, just randomly. Yeah, it's not like you were digging oh, through no. the... Cookie, you were saying, what was the rating? I'm sorry. Seven, I'm just gonna... seven, 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 seven. Seven is good. Seven is great. Seven is fantastic. I like seven. Daniel, what did Run! you do? Run! <laughs> Goes into the void and comes back with more spiders. Three out of ten. Yeah. What did you say? I said three out of ten. Three out of ten. You know I what? I, I would have said one out of ten, but the face is funny. Hold on. Wait. 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 This is, this is oh. what I think of your three oh. out of ten. Wait. Oh, no. 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 Okay. No. 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 We can talk about this. All right. Now, while they are taking care of these these little spider infestation, we can uh, jump over to the next drawing. Wait. Only ten percent of you are subscribed, which means if everyone subscribed right now, we would go from five hundred thousand to 5 million subscribers. So please, take a second to click the subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. The next drawing comes to us from Estia, a skeleton pirate with a crow on its shoulder. Okie dokie, let's start with the Steve for scale as I want this guy to be pretty big. Now let's make the skull. So some smooth corners to round up the top of the skull. Then we extend it down but leave a gap for his eyes. Add a little nose hole. Looking pretty good so far. Now let's add some planes for his teeth and then sculpt this low jaw. We'll be able to animate that jaw, by the way. That's actually terrifying. Now let's make a pirate hat. So we make three long cubes in a triangle formation, almost touching, and fill in the gaps with smaller cubes. Now we can extend that a bit and make a little curve on top. I also want to add small pupils inside of his eyes to make him a little creepier. Now for his body. Let's just make a simple shape for his torso, and then go in and add curves for detail. Lovely! Now we make a simple arm and start working on his hook. So a round bit at the base, which we bevel to a smaller point. And then for the hook itself, we make a long spike of multiple cubes and rotate each part until we have this hook shape. Sweet! Now we can copy that arm to the other side, remove the hook. Now let's make his sword. Pirate swords usually start pretty thin and get thicker by the tip. So let's do the same here. By making this straight sword out of multiple segments, I can now rotate each segment to curve it. Not the best, but it'll work. Now we just do the handle. And there we have our sword. Now we just make a real simple hand holding it, put it in place, and there we go. For his pants, I want the top part to be baggy. So let's make this curved shape and copy it around to form this drop-like shape. Then just a simple cue for his lower leg. And now we make a boot. To add a bit more detail, let's add some flappy bits on the top as if it's folded over. Now we can copy the leg to the other side and make a wooden leg, which is pretty much the same as the hook but without the hook, so I'll spare you the explanation. Now for some final polish, let's add details to his clothing. Let's give his sleeves a little fold right here. Let's give him a collar for his jacket like that. Let's make his jacket hang down with multiple planes, which we will rotate slightly to add some curves. And finally, let's add some extra cloth on top of his jacket and a little cape to give his clothing that old school clothes 
Coke vibe. And the pirate model is finished, but we still need his little companion. So let's model that little pro real quick. Put that guy on his shoulder, and there we go. Now we paint. Let's first get all the appropriate colors on there, and now we add the details. Like ripping up the loose fabric, paint the basic textures on all the pieces, and quickly shade everything with some shadows and highlights. Super basic texture work, but now we can open the texture in Photoshop and overlay some noise and color adjustment. And there we have our finished pirate. Arr! Here we have Captain Skull. An undead pirate captain and his trusted crow companion. Get too close and you will taste the steel of his blade. But what's out, as a captain rarely travels alone. Yes, this guy is also going to have minions. Luckily, a user called Sir Dalahor submitted this drawing of two skeleton pirates on a little pirate boat. It even has a little cannon. In the previous episode, we made a skeleton, so to save us some time, let's just import that model and go from there. Now we need a boat. So let's start with making the shape of the boat, which we can then copy and rotate until we have half a boat. Now we just mirror that to the other side, and add details like these bits that stick out. I don't know what they're called. Boat boys in the comment section, let us know! And of course we need some seats, so let's add those as well. We also need a place to put the pirate manning the cannon, so let's add that on the front. Now we can make a paddle with just a long cube, which bevels out at the end, and give that to our skeleton that we imported earlier. Now let's make the cannon. Let's make a circular base so it can rotate around around to look at its target, then we can make a big cylinder on top, which we bevel on the sides to make this pill shape. Then we can attach a smaller cylinder on the front, and finally make a slightly bigger hollow cylinder to finish the basic shape. That's a pretty good cannon! Now to add some structure to it, let's make some supports at the base, and a little wick for the pirate to ignite when it shoots, and as a little extra detail, let's also make a little lantern hanging below the cannon, like that! And finally, we make the flag, which we'll make out of multiple segments so that it can animate nicely. One lantern last little thing we need to do is to add some detail to the pirate. So a little hanging bit from a bandana on the front pirate. And now we paint! So let's quickly throw all the flat colors on there, rip the flag up and make a little pirate skull on it. And the details like the chain on the lantern, the bandana, the eye pads, and hey, let's give the skeletons one golden tooth each. They're being taken care of. Now let's open up the texture in Photoshop and add a wood texture to the boat and paddles. Then we can manually paint the rest like the rope holding the flag, the cannon, and a of course, the pirates. I still feel like this model is a little bit flat. So here's a little trick to add shading to a texture. Let's make a new texture and make the whole thing gray. Then we can go in and shade everything with dark and light grays. Like that. Then we combine that shaded texture with the original one in Photoshop. And there we go! We got baked in ambient occlusion. And that's our pirate ship! Here we have the pirates! The crew of Captain Skull. They travel in their boats and help Skull take care of his foes. They stay in the water and shoot you with their cannon from a distance. Let's see what our modders think. Alright, so we are back about to take a look at another mob. Daniel, could you... Daniel... <laughs> One sec, I'm doing something. How did you even... How did you even... This isn't even the right... How did you get this wood? There's no... Oh, no, you didn't even jump down this... Tr I'm not even gonna ask. Alright, we are back... Ha! Alright, so the next mob comes at us from the user called Estia. We got none other than that's the wrong command block. This is the right one. Blind! Captain Whoa! Skull. Hey, oh. this be one of me brethren. <laughs> Not only that, but we also get a mob from a user called Sir Dala Horse. We got hey, the pirates. <gasps> look at that! Wait a second! Look! Look! There's stuff in the water. Are those the skeletons from the last video? <laughs> I don't hey. reuse. No, no, this is. No, oh yeah, no. scratch. I don't, I don't know. I'd be fighting on his side. Oh, he's weak. Weak. This thing shoots at you. Oh yeah. What? Hey, John, are you sure that you wanna yeah, attack yeah. your? Yeah, yeah. I I can't I can't fight against the pirate brothers. Look at these guys. Hey, friends. Woohoo! Oh yeah, yeah, sir. Scream okay. all the time. Whoop! It kills me. Hit <laughs> me why? This boy does remind me vaguely of Cooper. Lie. Dan, how, how did I, you suffocate in a wall? How, are you, how do you keep ask, on finding new ways ask. to die? <laughs> it's not worth the answer. Don't ask. Oh, he's dead. He's done. Oh, he's done? He was easy. Well, well he's still got the pirates to take care of. Wow, I got killed by a pirate. <laughs> no, that was John. Oh, oh, okay, I'll give you a hand. These guys are... I've had enough. I'll give you a hand. Have you been killing them? Yeah, oh yeah. Oh my god! Oh, that was brutal! You just got shot in the face! <laughs> yeah, I felt it. I felt it. <laughs> All right, so that was Captain Skull and his pirates. Kevin, shoot me a rating. I will give the pirate a three plus six out of ten.
No, 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 we're doing actual numbers here. That's oh, a nine. That's nine out of ten. Okay, nine is good, nine is good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good, good numbers. Yeah, Fantastic good numbers. numbers. Like All right. It. Awesome. All right, John. Ah, uh, yeah, ten and ten. Flat out ten, so I gotta go. Wow. Ten and all, okay. Captains, All right, brethren. okay, good. Pirate code, that sort of stuff. Ten or ten, ten or ten. All right, Daniel, you... you... <laughs> As a 3D artist, I gotta respect the reuse of models, or the, the non-reuse of models, so I'm gonna have to give this one a seven out of ten. <laughs> Did you just make yourself a freaking The Voice cheer? I love it. I love that. Where's the where's the X button? I want to press the big X button. <laughs> I, d I didn't even hear the the score. I was so distracted by the props you just set up while I was distracted. No, I don't need I don't need that. This is this is seven out of ten. Seven out of ten. Oh. Seven out of ten. I'll take wow. it. I'll take it. All right. Well, next drawing. The next drawing comes at us from Grimm's, the terrifying withering reaper. So let's start with the Steve for scale. Then let's make the head. I like to make the heads pretty detailed, so we're beveling the corners of the cube with some extra rotated ones. Then we can make some eye holes, which we will also bevel the corners on to give him some round eyes. Now let's make the mouth, which I'm also going to smoothen out because I can. Then some flat planes where we will paint the teeth later. Now I tried painting the head real quick as a little test, and I really didn't like the eyes. So I adjusted the head a bit and changed the position of the eyes to stretch around the head. And and look at the difference! Way better! Now we can make the body, which won't be overly detailed. In fact, we just use these two cubes over and over again, adjusting them a bit along the way until we have this slug-like body. And now we can rotate all the segments into place, and boom! Now we make the skeleton arms. So let's make a long cube with two rotated ones on the sides to resemble a bone. And the same thing for the forearm, but we split the middle long cube into two. And then we make the bony hand with the lanky fingers, and there we go! We got arms, baby! Now we just add some flat planes to its body for where we can paint spikes and that's the model now we paint so let's get the flat colors on there to start with now we paint the teeth and paint the spikes and that's the flat colors let's also make the body slim down just to a single pixel now let's do some basic shading so add shadows and highlights to break up the monotony of the colors now we can open up the texture in photoshop to add the final details i usually like to make a noise layer elongate it and isolate it to either the shadows or highlights add a few more noise layers and that's pretty much it one more thing i want to add is is glowing eyes so that we can animate them to look around that is terrifying now we just need a particle effect to make it even scarier oh nasty man here we have the withering reaper a fearsome spirit that wanders in the dark looking for souls to devour if you're close to it you will experience blindness as it locks on to your scent your body will freeze as it charges at you just as it sucks out your soul our modders will face this creature in a maze their goal is to to get to the other side with their souls intact. All right, welcome everybody. Welcome to the final rating of the day. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate that. Yay, thank you. What do we got here? So I'm not actually going to reveal too much about today's mob. I figured you guys can just uh, enter this little. Um, well, okay, you guys can see what it is. You guys, you can, you can enter the maze. Go ahead and enter the maze. If you say so. <clears throat> Wait. Wait. What? Uh. Ooh. Uh oh. Okay. A cutscene. Interesting. Spaghettios. Very good. Something closed on the other side. Not that I know what that is. Okay, Daniel. Well, <laughs> you should probably figure out a way to open it. Let's unlock it, yeah? Alright, All right. Ooh. Oh, wait. Oh, there were you. Oh, bit, bit of darkness. Are we getting darkness? Get yeah, so if you're close to the the mob of death, then yes, you will get darkness. Oh, look at this tiny uh, spider there. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, that got me. John has just been taken. I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I feel like we're just going to kite along, Daniel. Like, I'm following you. You seem to be a good bait. Then if you die, I'll just run the opposite Bait? Oh! Uh, he just yeah. sucked me, my soul. Uh... Yeah, he, he likes to do that, so... <laughs> oh, oh, yeah! This mob was brought to us by a user called Grims. We got the Withering Reaper. Try to make it through the maze without getting your soul sucked out. Oh, it's, it's got me, it's got me. I'm running, I'm running. It's got you guys. See ya, oh, bye! Oh, he, he just... Bye! He I can just hear picked that. up Daniel. Yep. 
Well, Sorry, there's Dave. more than one of them. It seems to be more than one of oh, them. Oh, there's, yeah, there's pl plenty more. I will, okay, I will give you this one hint. Go to the center of the maze. Oh, yeah, because we oh, know where that is. that's very helpful, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's simple. Just, just go <laughs> left, go, so right, go right, go right, go left, go right, go right, go left, left, right, right, left. No, 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 no. Oh, my God, there's so many. Oh, there's more than one. Oh, wait, nope. I am back at the start. Yay! We're all back at the start. All right, follow me. I got enough. All right, Kevin, I will tell you this. You are on the right path. Yeah, no, I feel like I'm at because I've been testing some paths and I have no idea where I'm at. Okay, this is taking a while, so I'm just going to throw this out here. First one to solve this maze gets $100. $100? Daniel, you're on the right path. I am somewhere inside the maze and I have no idea where. Oh, no, Daniel. Oh, no. What did you do? Oh, you were so close. You were so close, Daniel. Come on. You were just a few turns away now from the I'm middle. Now I'm being killed by Daniel Craft. Wow. <laughs> well, he was in, you were in me, sir. It's yeah. a different website. I see a beacon. Okay, Daniel, you're getting close. I, I don't mean to freak you out, but you are getting close. Now watch him die. <laughs> oh, red straight past two of them. Oh, yeah, yeah, I got away. I got oh. away. I got away. I got away. Oh, I oh. didn't get away. It's looking promising. It's looking promising. Daniel has made it to the middle. Yeah. Uh, is, is he free now? What he's saved there? Wow. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel, you deserve that so bad, okay? The crafty crafty. <laughs> God damn it. There is none in the middle right now, so you you you're all good. Hey. John is at the middle. Hey. Alright, now uh, figure out how to uh, one turn green, one turn green, that one. Yeah, solve the puzzle. Uh, he's got it. Dang, got it. Dang, got it. Oh. And there we go. Oh, now we gotta get all the way through that. First one to make it to the end gets $100. You're giving torches and they don't even do anything. I really like that. So I'm saying. Yeah, you're, you're, gonna <laughs> you're getting some extra help with getting back out of here. The candles light the way, and I don't see any. Yeah. No, 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 no. Oh, 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 oh. why are Did there like you? three right there? <laughs> you were so close to. Oh no, 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 no. There's one in. There's one in my path. All right, that's the middle. Glad I got. Oh wait, what? Did I just accidentally walk out of the end? Yeah. I think you did. What? What? Did I? No, really. <laughs> because I, that can't make. No, that doesn't Who make any it? sense. No, I, it yeah, is yeah, Kevin! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> well then. Um, I did, uh, wow. I never and there we the have middle. it! The Withering Reaper! I am so confused. What exactly happened there? First I met a lot of demise, 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 and then sat, randomly I was just through without seeing anything. How? Like, how could I miss the center as I was running uh, through this? It's possible. The it is possible, yeah. yeah. It is possible. Yeah, yeah. All right, really so you mean, like, so there was yeah. a path through, and I accidentally managed to take the path. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that is what happened. We'll split the price 50-50. I don't want to be a... And there you go, Daniel. You unlocked the maze, and you got last. That was it. <laughs> oh, so I, I unlocked the maze, yeah. and then the Kevin just walks right through. Yeah. Like I said, Daniel, don't worry about oh, it. That's splitting 50-50. Like, you, you deserve that. You found the middle. You solved that. All right, Kevin, shoot me a rating. I, I like it. I mean, I have to say, the mechanics of this is... It, it's really overshadowing the fact that the mob was just one big giant prick. Uh... <laughs> yeah, see? I told you. Oh, no, it grabbed me! <laughs> <laughs> told you it was just one big... Well, I mean, it grabbed Joel, so I'm giving it a solid 10 out of 10. Solid 10 out of 10. It grabbed Joel. Why not? <laughs> okay, ten out of ten. I, I'll, I'll take it, John. Oh yeah, look, it's it's close to my heart because I worked a, worked a lot on this. So I'm gonna say ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. All right. All this is good. Daniel, give me a rating before you leave, <laughs> please. <laughs> no. Is he gone? Wait. Wait, Daniel. Hello, Daniel. Daniel, come on. <laughs> I thought, I thought you had it. Okay, fine. I'll say like eight out of ten. Eight or ten. Okay, you cut out there. Eight or ten. All right. Ah, oh, so close to a perfect score. I will get a perfect score one day. Yep. One day. This is not the best you can do. I can tell you that. Fine. Fine. 
Yeah, he can do worse. All right, guys. Thank you guys for uh, raiding all my mobs and everybody watching. Go check out their channels or whatever. I don't know. Yeah. Goodbye. My family has been visiting me over here in Sweden, so I haven't had any time to actually code the creatures. So huge thank you to Captain Cookie for coding all of the mods we showed today. Go check out his channel in the link in the description. If you would like to submit your own drawings to the series, go on over to our Discord server and submit them in the Submit Your Drawings channel. All right, like and subscribe. Bye-bye now.